Sir, you have 15 minutes, Senator. What did you say? 15 minutes. Oh, 15 minutes. Sorry. Yes, sir. Thanks very much. Welcome, gentlemen, and thank you for your, uh, uh, for your presentations. Um, yesterday, um, we had Dr. Julian Merson of UCD here, and he said, and I'm quoting, uh, RTE sustained the national obsession with houses. Would you agree with this view, uh, from your perspective, within the commercial function of RTE? Um, I, I did read some of what um, Dr. Mercer has said and, and, and written, although I didn't buy the book. Um, the, um, I, I, I looked, there, there, was huge, there was huge value in academic, rigorous academic research in terms of looking at, at, at the issues that were, that were around at the time and in learning the lessons so that we don't do, do the, make the same mistakes again. Indeed, I suppose that, that's what the, we're here today to talk about. Um, but I do have some problems with, 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 with his analysis of, of, of these things because um, there is, um, I mean, sorry, to a large extent, uh, his analysis wasn't, wasn't centred on ORT. It was centred on the fact of, of two very large business groups, which, which he would call the Irish Times and, 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 the, and the Independent Group. And by the very nature of these being big businesses, they were therefore in, they were therefore in cahoots with big business itself. And that was a, that was a known fact. Now I don't I didn't see the, the proof for that fact in in his analysis. So so it was kind of that that that's that's a fact. The um when he what he fails to, to understand then is that um because the because these newspaper groups were were in bed with big business and property business that that the only view that was ever going to be um in their in their media was was to, to support that business and those financial and those property businesses. But in reality, the Irish Times is read by 9% of the adult population in Ireland. The Independent on a daily basis is read by 16% of the adult population in Ireland. In every county in Ireland, there are local radio stations, there's local press that far exceed the kind of audiences that, that any of those, that those newspapers have. And, I mean, is, is the supposition that these were part of the conspiracy too, that, that, that the, the other media, I mean, it... it if they were... But focused on your, on, on, on RTE specifically, I mean, as opposed to the facil philosophical issue, I mean, do you feel, is he right or wrong in what he's saying there? Did you sustain the national obsession with, with houses? There, the, sorry, as I, as I was saying earlier, the, the, without doubt there is a huge interest in property in, in, in Ireland and by people. But with time, so... Well, I'm limited with the time of the questions that I can ask, so I'm going to move on if that's all right. I, I think we get your, your, your view on that. From a commercial uh, and programming point of view, obviously you're in charge of revenue, programming is something different. But is there ever a situation where you sit down and say, look, there's money in that. Can we look at doing a program on X or Y or, 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 or whatever, such as property, for example, in the period? Um, there Sorry, there are. I mean, there are, obviously there are there are um, there are occasions where, where there are there are holes in our schedule in terms of audiences. Well, there are holes in the schedule now. It's not. You're not looking for a stock on filler at four o'clock in the morning here. What I'm asking is, would you have taken the view at any stage that there's money in property and should we look at developing programming around it, such as? And I mean, I don't need to name the programs. Dr. Mercer yesterday named five or six of them. Mm. So, do those conversations take place? No, they don't. So it's a matter of accident then that uh, a house hunting programme might develop on programming, or, or who, does, who, who arrives at that decision? But that's an editorial decision. That, 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 I mean, we have a schedule, a programme schedule that has different parts of it. News and current affairs is one part, education, children's programmes. It was coincidental then that a number of programmes to do with house hunting, designing, various things like that emerged over the period. It's as coincidental now as it was then. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I think just I mean, sorry. I'll, I'll give a comment. I'm not. Uh, it's not my area, but um, I think programs, and particularly lifestyle programs, are also reflecting. And I think it'd be wrong to pretend that otherwise. They're reflecting what people are watching. I think the most, um, particularly in the schedule, you're looking for a mixed program, a mix of programming. So therefore, if um, a house, um, you know, a house buyers um, program or a, um, a house improvement program isn't being watched, then it's not going to be renewed. Um, and it's sitting aside with um, consumer programming, um, you know, check-up and all um, those sort of programming as well, which fall within and would be commissioned from the same area. 
And, I, and I, I, just while we're on it, because we, I'm sure to come back up again, um, it's, I think it's important as well is to distinguish between the programmes. They, there was a list of programmes, sort of, um, they're, they're different. Um, I think they're, they're ones that you could certainly say are boom programmes, or at least I would say are boom programmes, like house buyers in the summer. Well, I, I'm not then beginning. there's other ones that are house... Um, house improvement programmes, and there was a deliberate policy as well, an editorial policy, to shift from one um, to, to another in, um, in 2006 and 2007. There's never any commercial relationship or overlap, even at board no. level, to say, do you think we should make a programme or programmes or focus a little bit on no. education no. or science no, there, or no, property? Yes. Or certainly, or certainly there's discussion and certainly at television, um, television board level you're talking about trying to, I mean, for, I mean science is a great example, RT would have had, would have um, gone through periods where it, it's, it was poor in its delivery of a science programme and there would be an, an effort to try to improve that. So, so, relevant so period. certainly in terms of strands that would, that would be a normal. I don't mean to be cutting across you, but it's just my time is limited. Uh, so in the relevant period then, 2002 to 2007, would you say there were more programmes to do with owning a home, selling a home, doing up a home, looking at homes, living in homes, than there was, say, Boom, Future Shock or Prime Time Investigates to do with the property Boom and Bust? Sorry, I mean, programmes within that that, that, that house... for Mr Mulhall, actually, sorry. just first. Yeah, no. yeah. I mean, well, it depends on what you, how, what you count. If you, if you count special programmes, specially dedicated programmes to deal with um, property issues, um, news programmes were dealing with those all the time. So if I add in news programmes, I'm away above any other category of programming. No, specifically, so, obviously, so, the, the news of the day so can, can and issue the, the and details these, of the day. Sorry, and, and again, I just want to be helpful. Um, these sort of strands, they run in sort of eight programme slots, so they're running not uh, almost probably in the same slot. More or less, not year. counting the news. Um, well, you can't not count the news, so I don't know. No, we are not, I, I'm specifically not counting the news. So not including the news, but let's include prime time. How many programmes were there on houses versus well, that's like, yeah, the I boom? Don't, that, uh, yeah, I don't like I, 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 I mean, from memory, I'm looking at it, please, don't, I, can't, I can't verify exactly. I'd say there were probably two house programmes a week of varying, some of them were design, some of them were interior, some of them maybe been Absolutely. in the sun. But it might have been two programmes a week. Was there two prime times? Yes, there was. Was there news bulletins? Yes, there was. Well, the proportion of what Dr. Mercil says then that at the period that RTE did sustain the national obsession with houses. I think the, 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 the question is, I mean, as I was trying to explain earlier, there were house programmes before there was ever a boom. Yes. There's house programmes on at the moment. I think I counted today there were three house programmes in existence in the RTE schedule at the moment. I'm only looking so, at, so, at the so, time. So, no, I'm sorry. I mean, the point you're yeah. saying, you're, you're quoting Dr. Mercer saying, saying he lists five programmes, therefore they were all on every night of the week. That's not true. They, they, they were on for periods of usually about six weeks, and they would be on one night a week. And then there would be another programme on one night a week. And how so many, and so how long, it all together. Uh, you know, just so they were clear. It, just so clear. So restriction. Boom, how many episodes was in Boom, or was it a one-off programme? Uh, boom was a one-off programme. And was Future Shock a one-off programme? Yeah, uh, Future Shock was a one-off programme. OK, so that's two so, one-off programmes. And then the Morgan Kelly Primetime, was that a one-off programme? Uh, no, Primetime appeared... Oh, no, uh, the, 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 the one that you referred to specifically, it led to a Primetime programme, you said. So was that a one-off uh, programme that dealt with that particular issue? Was... Well, it depends. Yeah. The, the programme I refer... I, 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 I don't want to be unhelpful, but I, yeah. I think we're... I might. No, but we're just trying to develop a picture of the period. OK, if, if you want me... the picture so far is... And correct me if I'm wrong, we have six-week stints of, of housing programmes, and I'm counting, we have Boom, a one-episode, we have Future Shock, a one episode, and we have one episode of Brian Time dedicated to that issue. I just oh, want to know, is okay, that correct? Okay, um, uh, is that correct or not? If you want me to deal with this, I will deal with it, because it's an, it's an important issue. I will, I will go through a list of 120 programmes dealing with um, this issue, dealing with the issues related to the inquiry, um, of which 40 of them uh, in current affairs alone, and that's not counting radio programmes, it's not counting other programmes that deal with the... programmes, but you have five minutes left. Okay. 
And, 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 and this is, can I, can I come to just back, and, and I don't want to be seen to be cutting across, across you, but... You get plenty of time to talk later, and I won't. Yeah, so and I, I want to keep to the that's point. That's because you're asking me questions, you're asking me numerical questions, to be honest. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, and I will answer you numerically if you want me to do. Well, let's do but in order to do that, I'll have to go through the list. And if you want me to de deal with your substantive... Yeah, time for the list. So let's, okay, say, well then, let's deal with proportion, no, as in percentages, big no, words, let's deal with, rather than numerical. Well, I, what I would prefer to deal with is the substantive issue. Did RT sustain the boom? Uh, no. no, no. Well, you see, answer that question. I've now moved on to try and demonstrate for myself. I'm not listening to yesterday's guy. I'm, I'm trying to develop my own questioning with yeah. you. Okay. So what it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, you're saying to me that... There were three programmes no. versus series of programmes. No, I'm not. Uh, sorry, can I interrupt there just you a second? I mean, I mean, probably the longest running programme that people will still be very familiar with is Room to Improve, which is running at the moment and has run almost right through the series. Now, if you're looking at that programme and you're saying, oh, look, you had one prime time which said the property boom is dangerous and you had, room to, you had ten room to improves. Now, room to improve has nothing to do with promoting the property boom. No, no, no. But you're, respect... you're trying to do the equation and I'm no, sort no, of saying it's, they've it's nothing to do with It's you that's mentioned other. the examples, not me. Yep. You mentioned future shock. You mentioned boom. And what I would say, having read the complaints to the, the Broadcasting Authority of Ireland and the Can Be Checked chairman on the record there and indeed on their website, both of these programmes claimed from their outset to be portraying a very hypothetical situation rather than issuing a warning. Now, there they, I've just read, in fact, on the RTE website, the description of the Boone programme for the 1st of June 2006. So I just, if, we're, if, we're, if, if you're going to draw from the past that these were big warning signs, I'm merely saying to you, uh, that uh, tell me about all the other programs that you were showing at the time, the frequency with which they were on, which was promoting house purchase, versus the three individual occasions in the relevant period. That's all I'm saying. Thank so you. I think, look, I think we get the picture, um, and I want to move on just before, because I, I minutes, have about Senator. three minutes left. Uh, at what time did the sponsorship of programs begin in RTE? Sponsorship programs go, go, goes way back. I mean, in, in, in the early days of radio, all, all programs were sponsored at one stage. Those of us older to remember will remember all those sponsored programs. Which, um, and from television, from, from probably the very early days, but I couldn't say exactly. It was in the 60s, probably the first sponsored program of television. The relevant period. Yeah. Uh, what were the typical contractual arrangements if I say we're sponsoring current affairs program X? You're not allowed. You're not allowed to sponsor current affairs All right, okay. television. Or any programme, for that matter. Oh, any programme. Like, an example? Uh, you pick one. The Late Late Show. The Late Late Show. Well, an interesting one, actually. The Late Late Show, which has a, a number of sponsors over the years. Um, the, um, and has product placement as well. It has product placement in it. Yeah. The product placement within, within the Late Late Show is usually the competitions. If, if you get something of a value of more than €5,000, you, you must put that up on, on, as a notice to the, to the viewer so that it's clear that you did get the prizes for nothing. Um, that, that, that's, a, that's a regulatory requirement. You're coming back to the... You asked me what, 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 what's, what, what's the your What's the typical contractual? Well, so I'm, I'm going to sponsor the Late Late Show. What's in it for me? Well, the, 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 from our point of view, I mean, there may well be... A lot in from your point of view. From our point of view, we get an amount of revenue. In return for that revenue, the sponsor gets credits going in and out of the programme, which says their message, but basically it, it must say this programme is sponsored by whoever it is. Um, Liberty the marketing it. manager a slot on a show in June if I wanted it? Or? No, although they do, they do in the late, late show that generally the sponsor will put up at least one prize a year. Um, you know, which might be a major trip or, or, or whatever it is. Or in terms of an interview, though, like on the panel? You no, know, interviews, interviews are not part of the contractual obligations in relation to programs. Okay. So. Yeah, that's fine. Um, um, you mentioned the issue of hindsight bias. Uh, who did you quote on that? Peter Lunn. Peter Lunn. Uh, would you think that your uh, news reportage over the years and perhaps even now, although that's outside the relevant period, was free of hindsight bias? Um, I, the, when, I, when I quoted the um, hindsight bias quote, I was, um, I was quoting it as a warning to myself. 
that, that was one yourself yeah. or uh, no, uh, and, and implicate I think others or, or, I mean, I think or is it to absolve everybody no no I no, I'm no I'm not absolving myself I think there is a danger um, of, of us all in terms of looking back at the period and thinking that we predicted things better than we may have um, our electorate. and elected and that's that was a caution and and I think it is a, a, um, a caution worth having um, and I think it's a it's a journalistic caution worth having all the time Absolutely. Um, finally, finally, now, can I ask, were there ever any competitions run with property as a prize? Win an apartment, uh, win a valuation, win, win the design of a house, win a site? Centre leader over time, so I need to get a response. I can't remember. I mean, I would remember probably more than that. I, I can't remember any. can't remember any. Thanks, Amelia.